Hi everyone. In this series on solving polynomial congruence of higher degree, we are now on part 4 where we will be using primitive roots to solve such congruences. Now, the method which we will do today that involves primitive roots. In fact, we begin with the primitive root to solve such congruences. So, let's see what exactly primitive roots are and some of the facts about them. If a and m are relatively prime integers such that order of a mod m is equal to phi of m, then a is called a primitive root mod m. There's another useful theorem which says if a and m are relatively prime integers and a is a primitive root mod m, then the powers of a starting from a to the power 1 up to a to the power 5m, they form a reduced residue system mod m. You should note a few things. Only the divisors of phi m can be primitive roots as order of a mod m that divides phi of m. And if a is a positive integer and it's a primitive root, then m has in all phi phi of m primitive roots. So here we will be solving polynomial congruences of the type x to the power n is congruent to b mod of p. We look at this theorem which helps us in solving such congruence. For solving x to the power n congruent b mod of p, if g is a primitive root of x and if we are able to write x as a power of g and the right hand side b as a power of g, then this congruence can be reduced to a linear congruence. Ni is congruent to j mod of 5p and that gives us the solution. This will be better explained using examples. So, let's come to the first example where we are asked to solve x cube is congruent to 6 mod of 7. Now, we have the modulus 7. It's a prime number. Remember guys, all prime numbers have primitive roots. So, if we check, we will see that p is one of the primitive roots of mod of 7. In one of my videos, I have explained how primitive roots are found. So, we start with 3. 3 being a primitive root, we will write x as a power of 3. Let's say x is 3 to the power i. Now, right hand side has to be expressed as a power of 3. So, if we check, we will see 6 is congruent to 3 to the power 3. We will replace 6 by 3 to the power 3. So, both the sides become 3 to the power 3i is congruent to 3 to the power 3. And now, this gives from this theorem, 3i is congruent to 3 mod of phi of 7. So, we will get 3i is congruent to 3 mod of 5, 7, which is nothing but 3i is congruent to 3 mod 6. This is solved for i and we will get i is equal to 1 plus 2t. As your congruence is a cubic, we will have 3 incongruent roots for different values of t is equal to 0, 1, 2. And when we substitute is equal to 0, 1, 2, we will get i is equal to 1, 3, 5. From a, this i is equal to 1 plus 2t. So, we get when we substitute i values 1, 3 and 5 in x is equal to 3 to the power i, we will get the 3 roots as 3 to the power 1, 3 to the power 3, 3 to the power 5 which are congruent to 3, 6 and 5. So, x is equal to 3, 6 and 5. These are the three solutions. Let's come to the second example where the modulus is not prime. You see here modulus is 35. So, what we do is we will reduce this congruence as a system of congruence. x cube is congruent to 1 mod 5 and x cube is congruent to 1 mod 7. 35 has been split into two factors 5 and 7. We'll start with the first congruence. x cube is congruent to 1 mod 5. 
again you will check for one of the roots of 5 you will see that 2 is a primitive root of mod 5 so we will express x as powers of 2 so x we will take as 2 to the power i and the right hand side will also be expressed as power of 2 so if you check the powers of 2 you will see 2 to the power 4 is congruent to 1 mod 5 so you will replace 1 by 2 to the power 4 you will replace x by 2 to the power i and then our congruence 4 will give us 2 to the power 3i is congruent to 2 to the power 4 mod 5, which on solving gives us i is a multiple of 4. So, we have now the roots as 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 8. Because when we take t to be 0, 1 and 2, we get i value as 0, 4 and 8 and that we substitute in x is equal to 2 to the power i which gives us the three roots and you will see that all three of them are congruent to 1 mod 5. In the second case, we take second congruence. x cube is congruent to 1 mod 7 and in this you will see 3 is a primitive root of mod 7. So, we will express x as a power of 3. We will take x to be 3 to the power i. And the right hand side, 1 we will take as 3 to the power 6. You can check 3 to the power 6 is congruent to 1 mod of 7. So, here remember guys, whenever we have to replace both left and right hand side, check for different powers of your primitive root to see what gives us the right hand side. We will substitute these two in our congruence 5 and on solving we will get i is a multiple of 2. So, taking different values of t, 0, 1, 2, we will get i values as 0, 2 and 4. Our roots then become 3 to the power 0, 3 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 4 which gives us 1, 2 and 4. Now, here you have the root as 1, 1 and 1, 3 roots because it is uh, cubic. And here we have 3 roots from the second congruence, 1, 2 and 4. They together give us 3 system of congruences. And on solving these congruences using the Chinese remainder theorem, we get the solution as 1, 16 and 11. Now let's look at a case where the prime our p is 2 and the power of that prime is greater than or equal to 3. In such a case, remember guys, there are no primitive roots. So what do we do? We cannot apply this method. What we'll do is we will, instead of looking for a primitive root, we'll take x is equal to either plus 3 to the power i or minus 3 to the power i. Or x is plus 5 to the power i or minus 5 to the power i. So we need not search for or try for a primitive root. We will directly take one of these substitutions. Let's see how we solve this example. x to the power 3 is congruent to 3 mod 2 to the power 4. You must have noticed the prime is 2 and the power of that prime 2 is greater than or equal to 3. So there is no primitive root and hence we cannot use a primitive root to find the solution. So we will start with x is equal to 3 to the power i and substitute it in our congruence. We get 3 to the power 3i is congruent to 3 to the power 1 mod of 2 to the power 4 compare the powers. So, 3i will be congruent to 1 and now here because we are not using primitive root. So, what will we look for? We will see for the order of 3 mod of 16 and you will see that comes out to be 4. So, our congruence is 3i is congruent to 1 mod 4. On solving, we get i is equal to 3 plus 40. 40 is equal to 0 
we get i is equal to 3 and the root is 3 to the power 3 which is congruent to 11 mod of 16. 2 to the power 4 is 16. So the answer is 11. Now, we because we got the solution using 3 plus 3, so we will not try minus 3. Alternatively, we can take plus or minus 5 to the power i also. What if we start with x is equal to 5 to the power i and substitute it in our congruence? You will get 5 to the power 3i is congruent to 3 mod of 2 to the power 4. Now what shall we do with the right hand side? Because we need a power of 5 here. So if you check 5 to the power 3 is equal to 125 which is congruent to minus 3 mod of 16. For replacing the right hand side, by a power of 5, you have to try powers of 5 and see what gives us congruence to the right hand side. So here we have, if I multiply 5 on both the sides, we will get minus 5 to the power 3 is congruent to 3 mod 16. Now replace them. So we, we are going to get 5 to the power 3i is congruent to minus 5 to the power 3 mod 2 to the power 4. And as powers of 5 are congruent to 1 mod 4, this will not give us a solution. So we will discard this and now try x is equal to minus 5 to the power i and substitute in 6. So we will get minus 5 to the power 3i is congruent to minus 5 to the power 3 mod 2 to the power 4. This implies 5 to the power 3i is congruent to 5 to the power 3 mod 2 to the power 4. Now solve this because I will repeat we are not using primitive root. So here we will not use 5 of 16 but we use order 5 mod of 16 which is 4. So on solving we get i is equal to 1 plus 40 and when we take t to be 0 we get i is equal to 1. So the root is minus 5 to the power 1. All we have done is substituted the value of i here in our x, what we had assumed. So the root from this comes out to be 11 because minus 5 is congruent to 11 mod of 16. Thank you for watching. I hope the video was useful.